No, that's where, that's where he gets all those fucking ideas. That Duck Dynasty guy, it's not his fault that he went to, uh, what, he went to Sunday school in like 1949, you know? <laughs> I think all of that shit comes from the church. They just fucking brainwash you, you know? You come, don't, don't clap, don't clap, I don't read, I don't read. Follow someone else. I'm telling you, they brainwash you. Come into the church, your brain's all empty, they just fill it up like a jelly donut. <laughs> Brainwash it. Say what we say when we say it. <laughs> say it again, then you can go home to your toys. <laughs> All right, I'll say it. So I'll say it again. Now can I go home to my toys? Right? And you repeat everything they say. The good, the bad, and the fucking horrific. They stick a star in your forehead. You're a big boy. Yeah, the big people like me. You get on with your life. You go to college. You get a master's degree in English like this redneck dude had. He invents the new duck whistle or whatever the hell you call it. Right? Yours goes, what, what? Mine goes, what? A fucking what? Dude makes a zillion bucks. Gets his own TV show. He's loving life. And out of nowhere, here comes that same question 60 years later from Sunday school and he stands up like the Manchurian candidate. Jesus likes hookers and lepers, doesn't like the queers. And everybody freaks the fuck out. And he's like, oh, that's what they said. And they're all dead. Oh, where'd everybody go? I thought I was a good boy. And you're just this scared old man getting yelled at in a boat. I don't understand.